Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. So uh, we made it. Uh, this is the, the conclusion to our, um, our Maxitronics 10 in 1 project lab. We've finished it. Um, in this video, I'm just going to uh, recap what we achieved. Um, I'm also going to show you the next one. So uh, let me just pull that down here. Uh, this is the, uh, the Sensor Robot 20, so that's what we'll be working on next. Action Science Electronic Project Lab. So I have no idea what to expect in this. I have not opened it yet. I don't know what's in there. I don't know what projects it comes with, but no idea. We'll find out soon. Um, so that's, that's going to be our next project. Um, and this is the one that we've just finished. It's the, it's the first one, so we're just getting started. We're going to work through a whole heap of them, but this was the beginning. Uh, so the 10-in-1 Electronic Project Lab, now complete. Um, this is the manual that came with the, the project lab. Um, and and we've, we've, we've gone all the way through, so, um, uh, yeah, uh, th th there wasn't really that many parts in this kit. Uh, I was surprised that uh, there was no electrolyte, uh, electrolytic capacitors. It was just two ceramic capacitors. Um, and uh, I don't remember using the 1K resistor, but I guess we did at some point. Um, so the parts used in this kit, the bar antenna, the transistor, which is an NPN transistor, um, and the diode, which is a germanium diode, and a couple of capacitors, a couple of resistors, the earphone, the transformer, and the key. Um, of course, we also used our power supply. Um, the good thing about using the power supply is it reports how much current it's delivering, so you can figure out what the power consumption is like. Um, so uh, the first circuit that we did was the Morse code by light. Um, so that, that was a very basic circuit that just showed you how to activate a lamp. Um, and then there was the Morse code oscillator, which uh, uh, produced a tone. Uh, there was a lot of oscillators in this book. It was mostly a book about oscillators. Um, the diode experiment uh, was just simply to show that, uh, that the diode allows current to flow in one direction and not the other direction. So that, that was cool. Uh, the diode radio, of course, we couldn't get it to work. Uh, and, then, and then there was the one transistor radio. We couldn't get that to work either. But fortunately, the third uh, um, uh, radio, the one transistor radio with diode, we got it to work. So that was pretty awesome in the end. Um, and then, of course, we made the wireless uh, continuous wave transmitter, and that and that worked just fine. Of course, um, we only tuned into it with our radio, and not with a um, not with a, 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 a receiver that, that knows how to interpret that flat DC AM signal. Uh, then there was the patrol car siren. Now, that was where we used a switch to um, uh, change the tone of a. Um, uh, of, of, of an oscillator by uh, introducing a capacitor. So um, that, that, that oscillation was controlled by the pressing of the key. Uh, so it was sort of like a manual police car siren. Uh, and then there was the audio frequency oscillator. Uh, and the, the purpose of this circuit was to demonstrate how if you put in uh, a lower uh, rated capacitor, uh, you get a higher pitch. So lower capacitance, higher pitch. Um, that's, that's what we discovered when we did that circuit. And then the burglar alarm demonstrated that the principle that you, that you can use a transistor as a switch, uh, that switches on when the circuit's open and off when the circuit's closed. Um, and uh, actually, I was interested in that. This is, this is that particular circuit just here. And I had a look at the power draw. Um, when, the, when the circuit is uh, open, uh, it's on and it draws one milliamp to drive the, uh, the headphone. When it's closed, it draws negligible amount of power. So that, so that was good. Um, I, I just checked that. And, and then that's it. That was our 10 projects. The other thing that's in the back of the manual here is the international Morse code. So, uh, of course, um, you know, I'm just here by myself. I, I, I can't, <laughs> I've got anyone to, to, to mess, send a message in Morse code to. So my, my Morse code continues to be rubbish. At least I know S SOS. Uh, and there's a space in the back of the manual for some notes, but we didn't need to use that. Um, I did make some notes as we went through these uh, uh, various bits and pieces. Uh, one thing that we learned was uh, 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 audio uh, fre uh, frequencies, uh, and we learned that's basically eight, 80 hertz to 8,000 hertz. Um, that's, on, that's on the broad end. But for telephone quality um, uh, signals, we learned 300 hertz to 3.4 kilohertz. That's a typical audio uh, quality voice call telephone sort of bandwidth. Um, and the AM frequencies that are used uh, vary by region. So in, in the USA, it's 520 kilohertz to uh, 1,710 kilohertz for the uh, AM frequencies. And in Australia and other parts of the world, it's 531 uh, kilohertz to 1,600 kilohertz. Um, uh, we, we learned a couple of things about how to use the scope. I, I learned how to, um, to add a frequency uh, counter so that, or, or a frequency measurement. Uh, you just click measure, add, and then horizontal, and then pick frequency out of the list and then it pops it up there so that was quite useful um, 
I figured out how to do single shot mode. Uh, I, I learned over on the EV blog uh, forum that I should always have my probes in uh, 10 times mode, which attenuates the signal and it increases the resistance from one mega ohm to 10 mega ohms, and it decreases the capacitance from 100 picofarads to 10 picofarads. Uh, I also learned that you don't need to connect all the probe ground leads because they're all connected in the in the device anyway. Um, so uh, that concludes this part, this this particular chapter. We've, we've completed the Maxitronics 10 in 1. Um, and up next, we'll be working on the Robot Sensor 20. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll get started on that soon. Thanks very much. Bye.